This is a Rheinmetall calculator. Rheinmetall was an arms manufacturer, not unlike Walter, and it was founded in 1889 by Heinrich Erhard in Dusseldorf. In around 1901 they acquired the uh, pistols factory in Summerda, which is where the Dreiser uh, pistols were made. And during first, the First World War, they were the biggest, or one of the biggest arms manufacturers for Germany. Of course, after the First World War, they were not allowed to make arms anymore. And that is when the Sumida factory switched to making office machinery. They started with typewriters, and in around 1921 or so, uh, they ca came out with the first uh, calculator. It was designed by Richard Berg who had previously worked for Ludwig Spitz on the UNITAS and uh, TIM calculators. The interesting thing about uh, this design is that the numbers are fairly close together, closer than you get with most uh, stepped drum calculators like this. And this was done by um, having one stepped drum shared by adjacent digits. So when you have uh, say 10 digits you only have five stepped drums. Uh, around 1930, which is when this particular model was made, uh, yeah they started putting much more automation in the machines. They uh, put in electric drive and also included uh, automatic division and this is an, one which allows automatic division. But other than that it's a fully manual calculator. The basic functions are very straightforward. You can, you can type in a number. The input that you've entered can be read back here on this input register. I have it on addition now, the A and the A here. Uh, the register and counter is clear, so if you now turn the crank, the input gets added to the register. The counter is incremented by one, and the keyboard is cleared automatically for the next input. Obviously, any carries are performed automatically. Uh, for multiplication, you switch this uh, lever downwards and basically all that does is it ensures that the keyboard is not cleared after you've turned the crank. Let me just clear the register and the counter. So if I enter a number, now it's not cleared so I can turn it a few times. I've turned it four times, so this is four times this input. To shift the carriage, you can turn this knob here and then uh, multiply the number again for the next digit. So I have now multiplied this input number by 54. And this is the result. To clear the input, you can use this button or you can clear a column individually using these red buttons at the bottom. And as I showed, the register is cleared with this, and the counter is cleared with this. To subtract, let me just first put in a big number. To subtract, you have to switch the, this left lever to subtract and yeah, that's how it works. It's uh, very straightforward really. Uh, the more interesting things are the uh, automatic division. Let me first shift the carriage to the right completely. Instead of turning this knob you can just slide it using this uh, knob here 
you have to lift it up first and then you can slide it to the right. Note that the whole carriage doesn't uh, lift up like uh, most older Steps drum machines because yeah, the, on this one the uh, gears are disengaged when it's not in use. So that allows the carriage to slide freely without having to, to lift up from the uh, mechanism. Uh, these knobs here allow you to enter uh, any uh, input you like. I'll just input one and uh, so there's one in the register. I'll put one, uh, I'll put seven on the keyboard and now I'm going to divide one by seven, so uh, one seventh. I've put uh, this lever down to uh, subtract and division and yes that's all there is to it now I just have to turn the crank. The, on the first uh, turn it subtracts or tries to subtract and it underflows and I'll keep turning it now it doesn't seem to do anything but it's now put uh, in a different state where it uh, is going to correct this previous uh, subtraction. You can see that this C button has been pushed down. So it's corrected it now by adding it again. And on the next turn it will automatically shift the carriage to the left. And now I can go for the next subtraction. And each time it subtracts So each time it subtracts until it underflows, it corrects that and shifts the carriage. There we go. So if I divide 1 by 7, I get 0.1428571. There's a remainder of three here left. You may have noticed uh, this, this C button here, which is interesting. Normally when you add or subtract, the counter is incremented. But if you accidentally uh, turn one turn the crank once too, too often, you can correct that by holding down the C button and turning it again. Then it uh, subtracts and reduces the counter. If you were to fully subtract, it would actually increase the counter. So holding down this C correction button, it actually reverses fully the last turn of the crank. During the Second World War, Rheinmetall again was manufacturing arms and after the war the Sumida factory uh, was in East Germany while the Dusseldorf and Berlin factories were in West Germany. The Sumida factory returned to making uh, yeah, office machinery and those were exported to the West through Berlin and eventually they turned to making uh, electronics and, uh, and so on. The uh, Rheinmetall uh, company in the west, they eventually turned back to making arms and they are now a large uh, arms manufacturer. So this was the Rheinmetall calculator. Thank you for watching.